INFJs and intimacy. Have you ever wondered why people with the INFJ personality type, deeply intuitive and empathetic, approach intimacy differently? INFJs are known for their introspection, strong values, and complex inner worlds. But when it comes to intimacy, they have unique ways of connecting, driven by their core need for depth, authenticity, and understanding. Today, we're diving into what intimacy means to INFJs, why they often find it challenging, and how they navigate relationships in a world that doesn't always understand their depth. If you're an INFJ looking to better understand your own needs, or you're in a relationship with one, this video is for you. For INFJs, intimacy isn't just about physical closeness. It's about emotional and spiritual connection. To them, intimacy is a bond that resonates on a profound level, encompassing vulnerability, shared values, and a mutual understanding that goes beyond words. Imagine you're an INFJ. You meet someone new, and instantly, you're not looking for small talk. Instead, you want to know who this person is beneath the surface. You're curious about their dreams, what makes them laugh, what they believe in, and their personal values. You crave a connection that resonates with your core, something that feels real and meaningful. For an INFJ, a casual conversation might not bring much satisfaction. For example, Sarah, an INFJ is on a first date. Her date talks a lot about the weather and recent sports events. Sarah, feeling a bit distant, finally asks, what's something that's been really meaningful in your life lately? This moment captures the INFJ's deep desire for intimacy. Sarah is probing for depth, something that many INFJs find essential to feel connected. This level of intimacy isn't easily achieved which is why INFJs may seem reserved or slow to open up. They're gauging whether a relationship has the potential to reach the depths they need. INFJs have a rich inner world. Their dominant cognitive function, introverted intuition, or me, causes them to be highly introspective and future-focused. They are constantly analyzing, reflecting, and drawing connections. This inward focus shapes their expectations of intimacy. Because they spend so much time in their own heads, INFJs often dream about what a deep connection might feel like. They may visualize the kind of partner they're looking for, imagining conversations filled with warmth, understanding, and insight. But here's the catch, when reality doesn't match their inner vision, it can be disappointing or even disorienting. Take an INFJ named Alex, who's dreamed of meeting a partner who truly gets him. He envisions deep conversations, emotional openness, and shared dreams. However, his actual dating experiences often feel shallow, with people who might only be interested in surface-level connection. Alex starts feeling discouraged and wonders if he'll ever find someone who understands his unique vision of intimacy. This inner vision can create a feeling of loneliness, even when INFJs are surrounded by people. The craving for that ideal connection is so strong that it can sometimes lead them to withdraw rather than settle for relationships they perceive as shallow or insincere. INFJs are naturally empathetic, but opening up about their own feelings can be a challenge. Why? Because INFJs often fear judgment or misunderstanding. They tend to pick up on others' emotions with remarkable precision, but they don't always feel that others will reciprocate or understand theirs. Consider Emma, an INFJ who's been dating someone for a few months. She senses that her partner cares about her, but she's hesitant to reveal her insecurities or her deeper feelings. She worries that if she expresses herself too honestly, her partner might judge her or dismiss her concerns. So, instead of sharing her worries, she tries to support her partner emotionally while keeping her own vulnerabilities hidden. INFJs often need to feel absolutely safe before they'll reveal their innermost thoughts. They might test the waters with small disclosures first, gauging their partner's reaction. If their partner responds with empathy and understanding, they'll feel more comfortable being open. But if they sense judgment or a lack of interest, they may close off entirely. Tip for INFJs in relationships. Try expressing a small, 
honest feeling and observing your partner's reaction. Gradually increase your openness as trust builds. Finding the right balance of sharing while respecting your comfort zone is essential. INFJs face a few unique challenges in building intimacy, especially because of their natural idealism and need for authenticity. They can sometimes feel torn between their idealized vision of a relationship and the reality of their partner's imperfections. The ideal versus the real. INFJs often have high expectations for intimacy, seeking a soul-level connection. However, not every partner will be able to meet these expectations, which can lead to disappointment or frustration. Jason, an INFJ, is dating someone he genuinely likes. But he feels dissatisfied when their conversations don't go as deep as he hopes. His partner is more pragmatic and focused on everyday details, which sometimes makes Jason feel like they're missing that deep, emotional connection. Balancing empathy and self-needs INFJs can sometimes become so attuned to their partner's needs that they neglect their own. This can create a one-sided dynamic where the INFJ feels emotionally drained without feeling truly seen. Anna, an INFJ, is always there for her partner when he's stressed, offering emotional support and listening to his concerns. However, when Anna tries to discuss her own feelings, she senses that her partner becomes uncomfortable. This imbalance can prevent her from feeling truly intimate with him. Sensitivity to conflict Conflict can feel especially painful for INFJs, who value harmony and often internalize tension. Even minor disagreements may cause them to withdraw or feel disconnected from their partner. Liam, an INFJ, has a disagreement with his partner about weekend plans. His partner brushes it off as no big deal, but Liam feels unsettled and distanced. To him, the conflict, however minor, represents a rift in the relationship that needs repair. Despite these challenges, INFJs express intimacy in unique and meaningful ways. Here are a few characteristics of INFJ intimacy and how they might show love and closeness. Acts of thoughtfulness INFJs are attentive to the needs and preferences of their loved ones. They might remember small details and surprise their partner with acts of kindness that show they genuinely care. Rachel, an INFJ, remembers that her partner loves a particular song. Months after her partner first mentioned it, she makes a playlist of similar songs to share. For Rachel, this is a small but powerful way of saying, I care about what makes you happy. Listening with empathy. INFJs have a natural talent for listening deeply, offering their full presence and attention when their partner shares something personal. This makes their loved ones feel understood and valued. When David's partner shares a problem at work, he doesn't just listen passively. He asks thoughtful questions, mirrors his partner's emotions, and offers comfort. For David, this is a way of creating an intimate bond through empathy and understanding. Creating a safe space for vulnerability. INFJs want their partners to feel safe opening up to them. They go out of their way to ensure their loved ones feel supported, never judged, and truly accepted for who they are. Sophie, an INFJ, reassures her partner that they can share anything with her. When her partner confides a personal struggle, she responds with acceptance and encouragement, helping him feel that his vulnerability is valued and safe. Building lasting intimacy requires effort, understanding, and self-awareness. Here are some strategies that can help INFJs and their partners build deeper, more fulfilling connections. Prioritize open communication. INFJs can sometimes fall into the habit of assuming their partner will intuitively understand their needs but open communication is crucial. Learning to express needs and feelings openly, even if it feels uncomfortable, is essential for creating a balanced relationship. Set boundaries to protect emotional energy. INFJs can give so much of themselves that they risk emotional burnout. Setting boundaries and taking time for self-care ensures they don't lose themselves in the relationship. Embrace imperfections. It's important for INFJs to recognize that their ideal of a perfect connection may not always align with reality. 
Embracing their partner's flaws and finding beauty in the imperfections can strengthen intimacy. Value their own needs as much as their partner's. Healthy intimacy involves reciprocity. INFJs should remember that their needs are equally important and deserve to be met. For INFJs, intimacy is a journey of self-discovery as much as it is about connecting with another person. By embracing vulnerability, practicing open communication, and finding someone who respects their unique way of loving, INFJs can create the meaningful connections they long for. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments. Do you relate to the INFJ's approach to intimacy? Let us know.